Star Trek Beyond. Try to wrap your head around that title. Beyond what? The movie doesn't really explain this either. I guess it's a reference to this reboot series and that this movie is going to go beyond what the last two did, which is kind of true. The last two Star Trek movies are incredible, fast-paced watches, and I can't decide which one is better. J.J. Abrams really gave his all, but fans of the original series were not as thrilled. They didn't like that Star Trek was essentially becoming Star Wars, with an emphasis on action rather than philosophy and politics. I think that's debatable, but I think the new Star Trek films are masterpieces and do the old series justice while also bringing something new. Star Trek 2009 was a great start to the series, and Into Darkness was a retelling of Wrath of Khan, but was still really exciting and gave a new challenge to the crew. Star Trek Beyond finally takes the crew on its five year journey and is a story about all the crew members, but the conflict is still revolving around Kirk, and it's excellent. Star Trek Beyond is that rare threequel that is nearly as good as the last two. This time around, the crew gets all separated and must take their own journeys, physically and figuratively. Spock is dealing with a very unique circumstance in that the Spock from the future has passed away, which coincides with Leonard Nimoy's actual sad passing. Spock actually begins to think beyond himself and decides he might need to leave Starfleet to help save his species. Kirk begins to question his purpose and decides that he will leave Starfleet as well. So during the process of this movie, you believe that this might be their last hurrah, but they have more coming for them than expected. Idris Elba plays Krall, a typical revenge villain that has the ability to suck the life force out of other people to power himself. It's kind of crazy, almost like a horror movie. He's pretty cool though, and I think a lot of that goes to Idris Elba. He's not nearly as memorable as Benedict Cumberbatch's Khan, but it's light years more memorable than Eric Bana's Nero. I don't want to give spoilers away, but I will say that there's even a bit of a mystery to this movie, more so than the last two films, and it gets you invested in the climax. Twice in the film, I was sad to see they were reaching the end, but then there was something that came after it that was even better. It's a rare occurrence where the climax fakeout actually works to its advantage. The newest addition to the cast is Sofia Botella as Jayla, who was an excellent creation. Very memorable in character and design. This movie doesn't have any completely dumb moments like the last two films had. I still find the last two films to be better and shot better though. The film had really dark lit scenes and maybe that was a problem with my theater, but it felt almost too dark, like there was a lot of camera work when the crew was running through the Enterprise while it was flipping around that was very hard to understand what was going on. These are nitpicks though, and in general the film was shot well, just not shot as well as the last two films, but it had really great action scenes. Would we expect any less from Justin Lin, director of the Fast and Furious films? I really didn't like that Into Darkness was completely ignored. There were a few things, like Carol Marcus and the Klingons that were introduced in the last film that weren't even mentioned, even though they made it apparent that it was going to have a big part in the future films. I would like to see Alice Eve return, and in the last film it seemed like the war with the Klingons was going to begin. I guess they forgive and forget now, in this universe. This film is one of the better movies in theaters right now, and I think it will be a crowd pleaser. You may not have liked the last two films, and if you didn't, I think you might like this one. It goes back to the series roots while also staying faithful to the new series. It's a lot of fun, and I look forward to what's coming next.